Today, we're learning how to play attacking center mid, the number 10 position, the playmaker. What's going on, little dap? It's Jared Munz, former pro and founder of Online Soccer Academy. This video will cover a few main points of a playing attacking center mid, but not every point. Key points. Key point one, see passing options before you get the ball. Sounds easy, right? Coaches say it all the time. Know what to do with the ball before you get it. But how do you know? You know by checking your shoulder prior to receiving a pass. I call this check your shoulder. Some coaches say things like keep your head on a swivel. The main idea of knowing what to do with the ball before you get it is speed of play. We have a few speed of play OSA videos to help you here. When you check your shoulder, it's like you're taking a mental picture of the field. You're looking for passing options, defenders, space to play the ball. Maybe the goalie's out and you can chip her. Watch top pros on TV prior to receiving a pass. If it's someone like Pirlo, you will see that glorious Italian hair flying in the wind as he checks his shoulder. If it's Michael Bradley, it's just his super manly Harley Davidson-like bald head turning, so you may have to look a little closer. Key point two, stay higher up the field. Typically, your number 10 player is playing behind the forwards and is pushed up higher up the field. They are not the center mid always getting the ball off the back line in the defensive third. Having said this, if your defensive mid can't get the ball off your defenders to find you, or the defenders can't pass it to you directly, then you'll probably have to drop deeper to get the ball. Ultimately, the attacking center mid needs to be getting the ball regularly so they can make plays. Key point three. Keep it simple until you feel it. What on earth does that mean? Keep it simple until you feel it? The game is about rhythm and flow. The best playmakers keep the ball moving and know when to slow the game down a little bit and when to speed it up. Slowing the game down gets the other team to relax a little and allows for their forwards to make great runs versus just rushing it and making it an athletic game. Then when they feel it and see that little opening, boom! They speed up the game with that killer pass into space. Think of a passing rhythm like simple, 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 killer pass. Not killer pass, killer pass, killer pass every time. Great coaches don't expect you to complete every killer pass, but if you try something crazy creative every time you get the ball and it doesn't work, your coach is gonna be upset, your confidence will go down, and you will be scared to make that killer pass the next time the opportunity comes up. Key point, Four, simple in the back, create going forward. If you have to be in the back defensive third to collect the ball, keep it simple back there. Less mistakes in the defensive third. Save those fancy flicks for the attacking third, so if you lose it up there, it's less of a chance your mistake leads to a goal. Key point five, pass on your first touch when you can. Passing on your first touch keeps the rhythm and your teammates' momentum moving. I see so many attacking players take too many extra touches. It's like they look up, see a cross in space, but they wait. They take another touch, then another, and then they try to cross it. Meanwhile, space is gone. Their teammates that were charging forward with momentum have now come to a stop and they're just waiting and all their timing is off. When you can, pass it on your first touch. A teammate trying to head across will have much more power on their header if they're running full speed versus just standing there waiting for the ball. Key point six, be confident and keep your head up. First, keep your head up to see the field. Second, keep your head up to stay confident. Have that believe in it attitude. Looking down tends to allow negative thoughts to enter your mind. Keep your chin up and stay positive with yourself. Don't let one bad pass ruin your game. It happens. The attacking center mid is supposed to take chances, and chances don't always work. But when they do, the fans go crazy. Be confident. An exercise to practice on your own. For exercises on how to practice being an attacking center mid, watch these OSA videos on crossing early, how to create passing lanes while dribbling, how to play a killer pass, and we have a lot more like this in the passing category on the videos page at onlinesocceracademy.com. What's wrong? If every pass you make is a turnover, then you're forcing it. Remember, keep it simple until you feel it. Don't try to make every pass the perfect, most creative pass ever, like ever. Keep it simple till you feel it. Bonus tip, play some defense too. I get it, you're the number 10. 
but the best attacking center mids get stuck in on tackles too. At your core, be a two-way midfielder and take pride in being a hard tackler. Your coaches will love you for it, and so will the fans. Hope you enjoyed this online soccer academy video. Click here to watch our incredibly helpful 200 plus free videos. Go here if you want to believe in it shirt, and go here if you're a coach and want to host an OSA soccer camp. My name is Jared Muntz, and remember, if you believe in it and back that up with hard work, anything in life is possible. Believe in it!